Hello SGD Sacred Geometry Decoded and this will be an additional to the most recent upload I did on uh, Batalus or Batal Stones where I uh, baffle these sacred stones essentially. I put the links to the uh, earlier uh, previous ep episode on the Batal Stone but also because it links to the Omphalus Stones, Naval Stones and Ben Ben Stones they have very strong similar similarities in design but also in the concept of them being creation stones, uh, places, well, centers of the world, but also centers of uh, creations. But in this one, now firstly let's begin in Ireland. In the previous one I went through Eastern Mediterranean where there are quite good records on the origins, dates and meanings. But uh, we'll look at some other places. And so for instance in Ireland, we have, this is from the Newgrange site. This is uh, 3200 uh, BC approximately. We also have these important uh, enigmatic as well the Turo and the Castle Strange Stones. Now they're fairly recent in that uh, between the uh, approximately 200 BC to around 100 AD but Batal Stones are living stones. They have a living essence also connected to creation and life but also these patterns. Now this is this very old culture uh, from Newgrange 3200 BC but these are at the period, uh, essentially the uh, Greco-Roman period, and we have the same thing with these designs. They're, in a, in a sense, living stones. There's a life to them, and they were important stones. Now, both of them have been moved from the original location, but they seem to have been like a central stone, like a, a, almost as a milestone, the point from which all things are measured, the point where everyone gathers around, and that's one of the themes with Batal or Omphalus or Ben Ben stone, centers of creation, but also centers of power as well. Uh, usually like where the capital city was in Egypt, for instance, they would move around, but there was always a connection to a Ben Ben. So they're just a bit closer views where you see these uh, similarities in design, even though they're separated by 3,000 years, these stones in Ireland. And I'm going off the official um, dating. And also interesting, so also at Newgrange where you have these similar designs, we also have what's called the lozenge or this crosshatch pattern, which again matches uh, other omphalus stones now in the later Greek period, but this very, very ancient Varna omphalus stone uh, has this same design. But uh, so Newgrange, this is the, the site now, just sometimes referred as to as a, tu uh, a tomb or a tumulus uh, variant, but just let's call it Newgrange and Gavrinus of dating puts them around about the same time, 3500 BC, Gavrinus, uh, which is right next to the Karnak uh, complex. We have a lot of um, megalithic sites and Newgrange is also part of a larger complex. It doesn't stand on its own. But both of these are aligned to the winter solstice, which is another theme, but also the the designs in there are worth considering. So the passage, midwinter, oh, sorry, winter solstice, the sun shines right through. Um, but also notice the similarities in the designs here. And it's, uh, so Newgrange as well. Now also this serpentine serpent pattern we see here and, and here in Gavrinus and in Newgrange. There's a comparison again with the serpents, which is, well, again, the double serpent, the caduceus might be a link because this double serpent is a cross cult, a really, really ancient, uh, you even find it in uh, Sumer. But there, uh, now I'm frozen. Okay, so also, again, the crosshatch and the Varna compared to new, now this lozenge design is also very widespread and very ancient. Um, it could be just waved away is purely symbolic uh, decorative but I don't uh, I think more well we're lost and without records um, but the comparisons of other features and that these places such as Gavrinus and Newgrange are essentially said to be unconnected is also um, uh, well I think to consider so but also so not far from Newgrange where we have the Turo and Castle Strange Stones uh, around about 100 BC, 100 AD is the dating given. But also at Karnak, um, at uh, Camario, we have these. And these date from around about 400 BC to a little bit later. But again, we have essentially very omphalous, very ben-ben, um, very batal looking stones 
as well. And they're from this very, for instance, the um, this was called the Greco-Roman period, where records are quite good. And if the dating is a correct, well, it, uh, these sites were trade was happening uh, with these um, sites, so that might be an explanation and uh, more of a verification that they are in fact on phallus or betel or, or benben stones. And again, the, again, this very ancient practice, and again, you can see some, uh, at least in shaping, the similarities import these being important central stones. So we have Vivana, and um, now the Ben Ben, I'm just going to say 2700 BC because that's the generally used dating. Uh, don't have a fit if you don't think so, because I'm, I'm just sticking with the official dating. I personally believe it's much older too, but you know, let's, uh, without, anyway. Um, also in Sardinia you have the what's called the Neuragic culture and there are some many interesting let's, uh, enigmatic stones in Sardinia as well uh, and again because it's so hard now for instance these uh, also from Sardinia and in 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 a sense they they're living stones now the, the meaning they're said to represent the ancestors well, again, without records, it's a, it's a messy business. But again, they ha they're stones with this life-like property. But strictly speaking, they're neither uh, ben -ben, they're not they don't follow the pattern of omphalus or ben, -ben or just just for illustration purposes. But this uh, culture, and again, these very similar symbols, you'll find them in uh, Almendris and uh, many other sites. This is actually just a short list, but just to give you an idea of a widespread. Now, it's also the dating puts them somewhere around 1200 to 700 BC, which is about the time of the earliest uh, reference to the, the Delphi, the Oracle of Delphi, the temple there. The, the current ruins of the Temple of Apollo is around about 4th century, but that was built on an older Temple of Apollo. And so just to, you know, to move these around, so, but to also have the Amessa stone, this Batal stone, a black stone, some think it was a meteorite which was moved to Rome. This is, part, this is a picture from a Roman coin showing how this Amessa, uh, the emperor was, uh, yeah, the, but they moved it to Rome and it was an important centre, again, also connected to sun gods. And also, so the Karnak, uh, uh, these Batal like uh, ben Ben like on phallus like stones and same as at Churo in Ireland now um, again just to give you so they're sort of spread across but similar themes spread across time now for instance at Churo and Karnak stone basically around the same time of the Amessa stone being moved and the importance there and not too far distant from the uh, Greek on phallus stones that just being one example and it's also just a, a, again um, for instance, yeah, these connections to Newgrange and Gavrin are so tenuous uh, just on observation. So, uh, again, without you know, without clear records, it's always it's going to be a, a Sisyphus type struggle. But uh, the comparisons between Newgrange and Gavrinus and these designs are. It's still remote because this constant theme of the serpent, the creation mound, whether it's the Ben Ben or the uh, Greek on phallus design again so, so we have these serpentine patterns and of also to for instance the Orphic and the Mithraic uh, so for instance uh, f uh, is it Phanes or Phanes but again born from the egg or the cosmic egg or the, or the stone and again with the connection to the serpent there and even in the uh, again we see the cosmic Orphic egg which also with Mithras being born from an egg or born from a stone and also the connections with the serpents. So again this is uh, just observations uh, like some things are fairly well recorded and we can be certain certain ish amongst other things but uh, so this neuragic uh, culture from Sardinia even the timing so it's not actually that far away and there's even some suggestion that uh, the Sardinia connect where did the Hyksos emerge from? Are uh, these sea peoples? That could be one. It's suggested by some as one possible area. But also from uh, France is another, or France and Spain as it is now. But again, so just uh, 
observations really more than anything so I wouldn't uh, you know use revealed or exposed or finally explained in some sort of click but uh, just following on so links will be in the description to the previous episodes the on stones and some uh, ben ben badal stones and uh, just observations so anyway hope you enjoyed found it uh, interesting um, and have a good one